Uh, hi there. Uh, welcome to Infocom 2023. Uh, it's really great to have you here with us in the TV1 intro session, talking about TV1 Choreo Master Green Hippo. Um, this is the, the live view from the floor. Uh, it's been really hectic this morning. Uh, at the moment, it's quiet down a bit because it's kind of lunch o'clock and uh, people are coming back, coming in, coming out. It's very exciting. So um, let's uh, get on with what we're talking about. So we'll be uh, talking about uh, Cory Master and uh, Green Hippo in this session. It'll be my pleasure uh, to take you through. Here we come onto the TV One booth. Any second, you will see me in my, all my gloriousness. So, um, welcome everybody. Welcome to this uh, session. Uh, it's um, it's been really cool here. This is my hybrid theatre, and we've been going through uh, a hybrid demo showing what we can do using multi-window environments. There are streams of this, so if you haven't seen it for real you can uh, uh, connect uh, onto it let's zoom in a little bit so you can see me uh, great to have you here let's get started on the uh, presentation neo so um we're talking about integrating connecting and engaging using uh, tv1 solutions um this picture in the background is of uh the uh, uh, of uh, northwestern university they've got a a 40 foot uh, led wall um there which um they can uh, see everything on uh, which is quite exciting uh, it was um originally um it, it's the we thought the issue the customer thought the issue was going to be the, the wall itself actually that was really simple using custom uh, uh custom resolutions what the problem was was the content as ever content is king and, and we helped them out with that uh, uh, uh as well so let's get started um, i'm going to talk about a bunch of uh, verticals today um, we're, which were really strong in using TV1, Corio, Master Family, and uh, also uh, Green Hippo. And um, th these are all places we're really strong in. So broadcast stations, uh, government, education, corporate, healthcare, public spaces, casinos, and, and more beside. Um, I'll be talking later about some of these uh, if, if you want to join me in the theatre itself. But, I'm, but if, uh, if you're not here in person, you can... Um, you can later look um, look online and watch the videos, yeah? So, sorry, it's looking away. The, the theater's filling up now. It's all happening. So this is what TV1 is about. This is what makes TV1 great. Um, so first of all, it's our network of a support network, which is global, truly global, using some amazing partners and technical expertise. And we're, we're working with them and with our amazing team inside TV1. We can help your project from beginning to end. Unique platforms. I'm going to talk about two today, but uh, we obviously I'm not going to talk so much about Magenta brand, but I'm talking about TV One and Green Hippo, uh, and we're experts and leaders in in what we do. And lastly, we can project some concept to reality. So if there's something you like and you think we could help you with, but it's not a product we we have, um, then we can help you uh, and maybe develop a product just for you. Um, uh, this slide, lot of text, but it essentially says we're awesome. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're really good at what we do. We've been doing it for a long time, 30 years. Um, we're world class in terms of operations. So, you know, and some, some manufacturers are struggling to, to ship at the moment where we're still shipping in, in days and weeks rather than months. Uh, we do all our in-house R&D across all, all the brands. Um, so everything we do, we're doing for the first time. It's not we're getting a board off, off uh, or software from somebody else. We, we're doing it ourselves. Um, so in training, so it can be in person, online. Uh, and it can be global. Um, for, for TV One, there's loads of videos and face-to-face -face courses. Uh, for, for our buddies over at Green Hippo, there's uh, on -scon online hippo school as well as face-to-face. -face. Um, loads of partners and resellers to work with and support across three continents. These are our three brands, uh, and we label them. Uh, it was TV One Magento Green Hippo, but um, we, we call them Integrate, Connect, and Engage. And uh, so in integration is, is TV1, so anything in, anything out, uh, windowing, low latency processing. Uh, Magenta for connections. So this booth is, is all held together with Magenta. There's cables going everywhere. There's uh, distribution amplifiers as well, getting my signals around. Um, and that's world-class uh, signal management. And lastly, uh, engagement through the, the Green Hippo uh, media server range. And we're going to talk about all of that a little bit today. So uh, hang on. This is all, these are all our products. Like I said, I'm only going to talk about um, the video processing and the media server element. But just so you know, we also have 
a, 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 a matrix switcher, Cori matrix, which uses some of the uh, format conversion powering power of uh, Cori Master. So anything, anything out, low latency switching, um, multi-window processing. So some manufacturers, you call that a multi-window viewer. We do a little bit more than that. So we call it multi-window processing. So that's for uh, collaboration using Cori View. Uh, an amazing family of media servers. Uh, some, some of which are focused on live events, some on in integration, uh, racking and power through one rack, uh, and then then our extend switch distribute. Um, let's start on Cori Master, yeah, because uh, um, and we've got a family, and I don't expect you to read all this text and remember it and pass the test later. Just to let you know, we've got a range from small to big, and we'll choose the right solution for you. So uh, wh whatever you need, we will find the right solution. Um, this demo here is being powered by the the baby, the Cori Master Micro. And even that is really powerful. It can have up to eight inputs and four outputs, or four inputs and eight outputs in one half width, one RU. So it's pretty powerful stuff. And that's what I'm powering this demo with. Then we go up to the Corio Master Mini, which is slightly bigger. Corio Master, slightly bigger. These guys here all do uh, HD and some 4K. This guy down here was built around the need for 4K. So um, on this device, I can do five 4K windows. This one, I can do 40, 4K, 60. Uh, windows or 128 HD windows. So I think probably enough to get us going. Um, this this is the backbone of Cori Master. So, um, and, and I've picked the greatest hits out of all the products. So on the input, anything in. So uh, you've got your digital AV, your, your extended AV, IP. So H.264, H.265, stills up to 8K, clips uh, up to up to 4K. Um, HD base T for extension up to 500 feet on the input using Magenta. SDI, so 3 gig SDI, uh, 12 gig SDI. Uh, DVI, um, which I don't know about you, but when I'm sometimes dealing with, with uh, like those the formats, I like to have a cable that locks in, and we can put adapters on this to adapt it to be HDMI, VGA, analog, composite video even. And if you've got a legacy system, you, you, might, want to, you might need to integrate some of that. Um, on the output, depends which solution you get, but once again, uh, uh, 4K, 4K or HD, HDMI, HD base T up to 4K, uh, SDI, so 3 gig and 12 gig, um, the DVI again, if you want it. Then we can output onto multiple canvases. So here I've got two, on this unit I'm using two. This screen is one, and the top screen is my second one. Um, some, some devices have two, some have three, some have four, and you can lay out windows on top of it how you want. You can rotate the displays. You can rotate the sources as well. So here I've got um, two, two standardish screens, a wide aspect LED, and then I've made myself a monitoring uh, wall uh, uh, as well. We can link up to an FTP server. So if you're putting in clips or stills, we can put those on. Um, and uh, if you, as long as you use the same name, it will replace it on the unit. So that's really handy if you're doing like a retail in, you've got a big load of retail installations. You don't want to go out with a USB stick or email stuff. Um, then on the output, it's it's obviously secure, uh, but we have a software uh, application. Uh, we have uh, an app that runs on uh, iPhone or Android, um, uh, and we can obviously use third-party automation or uh, the API. And the API is free. All right, I thought it was going to be more excitement than that. The API is free. Um, I know some manufacturers, <laughs> thank you, like to charge for it. It's, it's free. Um, in regards to display, we're agnostic. So whether it's LED, edge bend projection, or displays. Just to give you a flavor, though, we're seeing about 75 80% is LED at the moment. A lot of extra extra wide LEDs, custom resolution. Um, about 15% is projection, edge blended projection. Um, this one's, this is, by the way, this is CAE in Canada. They're an aviation company. This is New London Architecture in London. You well, that one out probably, yeah. So um, this is eight projectors, four in landscape, four in portrait, um, and all of these models are they're they're, they're three D, but they're they're just grey. Um, and as soon as you've got a planning application approved in London, um, you can have your building on here, and we project all the colour, all the detail. And this is Adobe's uh, headquarters, and th there's rack seating here. You can just see. Um, and they, they use that for briefings, but also to have fun. A couple of installations. I'm going to talk about these later. I've got a couple of sessions coming up, one talking about this in more detail, and also the Green Hip applications. I'm going to do a little bit more detail as well. This is the Council of EU. 
uh, and in Brussels. Uh, and um, we, we do two or th several spaces from the most recent was the, the uh, press center. We also did the VIP entrance. So where you see your president coming in, shaking hands, that's, that's powered by TV One and Green Hippo. Behind them, we also did the TV studio uh, as well. Once again, extra wide LED, it seems to be a trend. Um, this is a partner company in Germany and they fitted out their whole um, uh, exhibition of uh, customer space is all powered off one single Corio Master. So we can go really expansive. So um, in 4K, we can do 28 outputs. Um, uh, we do that for a number of people. We work with Abson in their European showroom uh, and uh, Midwich in their UK showroom as well to feed everything from one place. And it just simplifies everything because this, this is, as well as being a window of video processor, a format converter, it's also a switcher, a seamless switcher as well. And, and lastly, we also do small. So a device like this powers this simple wall in uh, Church of God TV studio. And the thing they like about it, if you, especially if you're tight for budget, you want to do something like this, um, it's obviously got the control panel built on the front. So you can uh, switch different, different looks and feels and do all sorts of stuff with it um, just off the button panel without having to integrate automation. Yeah, so it's, it's a great little range. Um, and lastly, on Corio Master, this is uh, in France. Um, Charles is a digital artist. We lent him a unit to see what he could do with it, really. Um, it's always in, I've done this a few times and just to see what creative ideas people have. And he, he did this kind of beautiful art network in the middle of Paris. And then um, on to our second range I'm going to highlight here, which is Green Hippo Media Servers, born out of the uh, challenges of live events. So, you know, rock tours, theater tours, all that sort of stuff where, you know, you, you need reliable gear that's going to be chucked in and out of a truck and all that sort of stuff. The great thing is it's really, really flexible, and I'll, I'll explain why in a moment. Um, and it's all about delivering un, unforgettable visual experiences. I don't know about you, but in the last couple of years, if I go anywhere for an event, I want video in it. I want amazing lighting. I don't want to go to a vet and, an event and you know, just, just have like speakers and a couple of lights. So we're seeing more, more and more video going into, into shows and also into corporate and uh, other environments. Um, it's real time and real time, I mean, it's not only real time playback, but it's real time control. And as the same with Corio Master, with, with uh, Green Hippo, control is everything. If you haven't got real time control, you're on a loser. Um, this, this is some examples of some jobs we've done now, when, when you're creating a project, oh, there's a thing called a design arch. Um, and on one side, you have the idea. On the other side, you have the installation. And what we all need to be is closer to the idea side. So that's why we say design, prepare, uh, deliver. And the next few slides kind of pull that out. So this is uh, Pasco University in West Virginia. Earlier, we started singing uh, John Denver songs when this happened. Yeah, we're, we're going to resist that today so at the, at the sales phase they're able to take a 3d model put video on it show the clients what it's going to look like um so that's a really useful tool um it, it's like visualizes what you can see you can also see later when we came onto control um for the light control of the real project we've integrated that there as well so when you make a change here it makes a change on this tool as well this is useful also for like live concerts where sometimes the video isn't front of stage it's behind the stage, so they can't see anything, and they can't see what their screens are doing, so it gives you some confidence. Um, on the outputs, it's lots of LED, and, and to give, to make it the most efficient and to get it on the less, least LED senders possible, we package up all the video elements uh, in, into our pixel space. And then, the, obviously, the LED uh, unpacks it at the other end. So this is called video mapping. Um, we also do projection mapping on Green Hippo. So this is uh, Mark. He works for a company called Motion Mapping in London. He does, uh, he calls them guerrilla campaigns as well as corporate. He also goes out with a projector and uh, one of our media servers and projects on stuff in London. Yeah. Um, this was a corporate job. It's a perfume bottle launch. They made a polystyrene bottle. This, this, this is real. The, the bottle is just polystyrene. You, you could pick it up. And then what they did is they mapped onto it. Once again, it's all about that production arch how much, how far to the left you can get. So here we've made the, the space. So it's going to be a, a, a wall, a corner wall. We could also map on the floor as well. And 
there's a couple of things going on here which really are crucial to image quality. The first one is we're positioning the projectors. So even before we get to site, we can specify where the projectors go, what lens they've got, what brightness they are as well. Equally, when we get to site, if we get the wrong projectors, we can plot them in and, and quickly work out where, where should we go. So this one's showing brightness. So you can see this is my range of uh, brightness from, uh, and, and it's not necessarily from white to black, it's a, it's a range in the middle. And we can see by positioning the projectors where we get the most even coverage. And then a second tool is here, which is we're looking at the pixel stretch. So obviously with our off-axis projection, there's physics and the pixels are going to stretch. So we can see the effect is and make sure we kind of get the projectors in the best place to give the best image. Um, Control-wise, um, he did it on our timeline. So he's, he's, he's once again, he's getting a feedback at what it's, going, what it's doing. This, this timeline, um, you can put different scenes on there, different presets. You can also uh, add effects as well. So this timeline can get quite deep and you can choose from the thousands of combinations of effects what you want on here. And then this guy can then, you can either push play or you can control it off a lighting desk or you can take a MIDI in. So, so you imagine you're doing a corporate launch and it had to happen. All, you know, all the lights and everything on time. Because that's the other thing we do is we integrate with the lighting as well. So the lighting engineer can push scene change, DMX control pushes us forward, and that, that's the result. I think the next one, this is a, a live-ish event. This is, I think you call it Dancing with the Stars here. We, we call it Strictly Come Dancing in the UK. Similar, similar thing. Um, and this is all green hippo powered. So the proscenium here, the curved screens, the band screen, the floors, uh, low resolution screen here. All these are lighting fixtures, all of this, uh, all the way down here. So we're, we're actually addressing all of this as though it's a, a bunch of pixels and we map the video on. And you're saying, Mark, why in the hell would you do that? Well, first of all, you want to make it look interesting and you want to change for each dance as well. And they're doing like, you know, like 14, 15 dances a, a week. And you have to change it really quickly off the, off the lighting desk. Um, Equally, this is too small to get an LED screen for. And even if you could, would you want to spend the money on it? Because every show's got a budget. Um, so that's what we do. We, we map onto that. And this is, this is what the final result looks like. We map on. These, this is all lighting mapping all down here. And then this is kind of fun. So this is like forced perspective. And around the corner, we've got a demo on an LED wall showing this. Um, and they do some really amazing stuff on this, on this show. Don't know it's like in the States. I've never watched it. But this... From, a, from an angle, it looked absolutely perfect. They also did another effect where it was a chessboard, and they stood on one piece of the chessboard, and the rest of it fell away. In like, it looked amazing. Yeah. So, um, this is this is a really good show for us to do it. And you know, we don't just do this sort of stuff. We 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 do uh, lots of lots of rock shows, but things like uh, Super Bowl halftime, we we do we've done we did for many many years. Eurovision as well. So there's some big high stress shows that we get involved in um, so that's it really that's the end-to-end -end solutions i'll tell you what's on the booth so uh, to my right there's a there's a quarry master micro demo so that's eight inputs four outputs on the back there's an 8k video processing demo behind me there's an interactivity demo using green hippo down the side there's our new uh, new video processor calico and in the middle here we've got uh, uh, loads of green hippo stuff including light it, mapping to the lighting as well so um, everyone at home, we've been streaming this, so you've been live here. Um, thank, thanks so much for watching. Um, this is our last stream of, of our time here at Infocom 2023. There's loads of others uh, online. If, if you have liked them, uh, please uh, sign up and subscribe and like, leave comments. Let us know what you think, because if you like it, it's something uh, we could do much, much more of for you. But for now, thanks for being with us. Have a safe day now. Bye-bye.